Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my tutorials. I am having a few shots in me. Few. So we're gonna see how this rolls and hopefully what I say makes sense. Um so this video is going to be about true formation during player versus player, meaning you hitting another person's base or you defending another person's base. Um, this is a pretty simple thing, but also at the same time, I do want to go over it in a more, in a form that it should be gone over instead of just reading it. Because I do know some people do understand it better hearing it and actually visualizing, but I'm not actually going to sit here and send troops to hit somebody to prove this because being who I am, I am not allowed to promote hitting of other players, but I can at least explain because this is a war game, so it's a catch-22 right now. <laughs> I can't promote you to hit somebody. I can't sit here and tell you go hit, but I can sit here and at least advise you on how to how to hit. So let's go ahead and get into it. So. As you're in, let's do a PC because he's yellow. All right, so as you're in your trading screen, all the way up here in the top right corner, you have the troop counter. Tank is better than heli, is better than APC, is better than tank. Tank, heli, and APC is better than heavy vehicle. Now, I'm going to explain this to you right here and now. Heavy vehicle is not worth flipping fluking, fluffing, whatever word you want to place into that word is not worth anything. Um, the only thing that they are good for is their troop load. So if you do have a farm account, this is the one that you want to produce most of as far as troops go because they will help you um, gather a little more. And also if you do have a farm, do make a bunch of these as well or well not these but heavy vehicles as well because you can use those heavy vehicles to plunder your farms a lot easier or plunder others a lot easier <laughs> anyways so that's basically all heavy vehicles are good for is just um plundering so if you are an attacker I would say go ahead and you know do a decent bit of these that way you can be able to plunder quicker you can use either your helis your APCs to attack and then you can sit here and use the heavies to be able to plunder afterwards if they have resources hypothetically of course um, so, alright, so that's basically the heavy vehicles. So we're going to go ahead and get into the other three, which is tanks, APC, and heli. When you are doing troop formation, even if you are APC and heli specialized, which I do have specialization, neither me or, um, that dude. <laughs> Got him. Um, either me or... Mong has the video to be able to explain the specialization of the troops. I forget which one of us has it. But be sure to check it out if you don't understand what I'm talking about with specialization. Because I am not going over that right now. I can only be on a one mind track. Well, I lied. My mind's on like 50 mile tracks. But. Okay. Collected myself. Tanks, APC, and helis. Even if you are a APC and heli specialization, you will want to make some tanks. Um, the main reason is because tanks have the highest defense. When you send those tanks out with your APCs or your tanks out with your helis, those tanks are going to absorb the majority of the hit. Um... This is also why when people who are strictly only on defense, or you may even find 
uh, bases that are what we call in other games trap bases. And what those trap bases are, are basically they look like they're a paper shield or like a paper building, I guess. And meaning they could be a level 14, level 15, or even a level 16, but have millions of tanks. And other people will just sit here and throw in some APCs and some helis to be able to sit here and either get some points for SVS or just be able to get some kills. Um, so that's what tanks are good for, or to be able to absorb. They have the strongest defense here. I, yeah, tank. I should know this by now how long I've been playing. <coughs> Not you. Yeah. So yeah, you have their power, and then you also have their defense, which is 84. And yeah, that's the highest right there that we can go. That's T11s at 114. As you see, they are completely maxed out. Not even their power is fully maxed out to that. Actually, yes, it is. Yeah, it's the same one. So tanks are going to sit here and absorb that main hit. They are basically your shield around those APCs and those helis. You're going to want to make some. You're going to want to sit here and protect those helis and APCs. If you go after... I don't know if anybody noticed, but... If you go after uh, the worms or if you go after a rev monster without any APC and they're too high of a level for you, one of the first things that pops up, if you, I don't have any right now, but if you uh, check on the report, there should be like a little explanation point somewhere along with a little saying that, you know, you have failed, yada, yada, in that report that you can click on. And one of the first things that it tells you that you should do is there is not enough tanks. And even right there is just a big hint. So be sure to get those tanks in. I cannot stress that enough. If you want to be able to survive and have less casualties and actually have a chance, get them tanks going. And like I said, it is a great source to be able to even be a defender with um if somebody is being hit and you want to reinforce them send them tanks along with your apc or your helis in this kind of fuck you too <laughs> in this uh there must be a freaking build up in my light right now in this kind of um, situation, I know it sits here and says helicopters are better than APCs, but if you honestly look at the stats, APCs and helicopters are quite even. So what it really comes down to is those tanks. And like I said, I cannot stress it enough that get them going. But yeah, that is basically the gist of what I wanted to talk about. I've seen a lot of people sit here and just throw just APCs with their heroes. Even like I said during um, Rally for the Worms and even Relic Monsters, it, you're going to need something to be able to protect those APCs and typically it's tanks. So just be sure to have something in your lineup. It may take a little bit if you haven't built any tanks up. It may take a little bit to... Um, figure out how many tanks you need. My other game, see, this game is weird because my other game, yeah, it dealt with uh, tanks being, you know, the defender, but at the same time, it also dealt with, you can sit here, it dealt with tiers of your troops. So you have T1s, T2s, T3s. Your T1s are going to be the first targeted. This is the first game that that is not true. Those T1s, it doesn't matter if it's T1, T2, T10, T11. It does not matter. It literally, this game is literally strictly based off of the typing. And 
that confused the hell out of me when I first heard about it. So, it, it you can even ask a few of my own members that, like, I even told them when I first started the game, I was like, look, you're going to want to build a crap ton of T1s because that's what's going to be hit first. Yeah, nah, bro. That ain't what's going to be hit first. So, um, I'm keep, I am keep keep sitting here beating a dead horse, so I'm going to go ahead and literally just do a recap. Build those tanks. Great for defense. Great for reinforcing and great for offense for protecting and shielding your APC. Now, this is not guaranteed that, you know, you sit here and have a full line of tanks and, you know, half APC that you're going to win. It ain't happening every time. Don't go balls to the wall with this. Like I said, do test your limits. Do know your limits. Work with it a little bit. It, a great way to test is with those worms just to be able to see what you can do if you want to test with worms basically start a rally tell on the uh, troop setup that you want to test with tell everybody to only send one troop watch your rally because you may have to send some people back because some people don't always watch chat or some people are too busy to watch chat or be able to see or they don't see till it's too late and they're just like oh whatever so Watch your rally. Tell them to only send one troop. Um, heroes at that point doesn't really matter. And that is your best way to test it. And then once you test it, you can check out the attribute difference and you can go from there. Do the math if you're a mathematician. I'm not. I just go with the flow. If it works, it works. <laughs> if not, I'm going to keep doing shit till it works. So yeah, I'm rambling again, as usual, and I appreciate all the people that do follow me and do watch these and do put up with my rambleness because in between all that rambleness is smart stuff, I promise. My cat it keeps farting, so I want to go shove a cork in her butt and next video will probably just be my random videos that I was doing before, which is arena hits and... um. Crap, I meant to do a Tesla record tonight. My next Tesla, I'll go ahead and do a uh, a video on. Because I know I did a video for Monster Siege. I'll go ahead and do a video for Tesla. It's kind of boring. But I can at least go over the uh, scripts and all that. And everything else. Um, I meant to do a line space battle. So next week is Monster Siege again. So next line space battle, next Monster oh, not Monster Siege, next Tesla. I'll do videos for. And pending how eventful this SVS is, because honestly, we're getting bored. We, I may do some videos. I don't know, but. Anyways, I'm going to go take another shot and, yeah, get those tanks going. Work on those tanks. Uh, build your troops with those tanks. Test those tanks out. You, trust me, it's it makes a big difference. Remember, heavy vehicles, they are completely worthless except for plundering. So, do what you got to do with that. And I will chat with you all later. Ta-da!